Are you serious? The Mark of the Beast! You know, you know, in my book, Mark of the Beast, R-F-I-D, and you can find out all about it at my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Uh, we talk in the book about drones, the size of mosquitoes, drones over your homes. I talk about... <clears throat> implantation of radio frequency identification devices or RFIDs and how that they could even alter the, the people's uh, responses to things by being transmitted into the brain. Not just identification, not just a microchip that can be used for your social security number, your driver's license number, all of your medical records, what prescriptions you're on, your bank accounts work as a, a debit card, a GPS. Not just that. Not just controlling every aspect of your life by Big Brother knowing everything, but by able, actually being able to alter your reactions. It's in my book. Well, it's coming to pass. Big time. Stephen of Oklahoma, why do you have to send me this? It's raining in Oklahoma. Why send me something like this that gets my blood boiling before I get to get a cup of in the morning? What? Yeah, I've got, somebody just help me. Somebody pray for me. Just, oh, by the way, uh, Reverend Gary sent me an email. It rained two inches of rain in ten minutes in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. It's flooding there right now. What? That's crazy. Two inches in ten minutes? I don't know. Is that the reason God made Oklahoma? I, I don't know. But I'm going to say this. Let me go to Stephen of Oklahoma, who sent this to me. Get this. Neuroscientists are planning false memories in the brain. They can plant false memories, not truth. But lies, they can take, by using microchip technology, they're able to plant in your brain memories that are not true. In other words, lies! Who's the father of lies? Lucifer himself. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. But he said, in other scriptures, of course, the devil is called the accuser of the brethren. He's called the father of lies. He was a liar from the beginning. I mean, so why would you put false memories in people's brains to deceive them into believing a lie and to be damned? It's in the Bible. Now, it's called strong delusion. It's coming upon the population through micro... Uh, technology. MIT study also is pinpointing where the brain stores the memory traces, both false and authentic, in the same area of the brain that can, that can store your memories that are true, obviously, because they're your memories. They can plant in that same area of the brain false memories, false stories. The phenomenon of the false memory has been well documented. In many court cases, defendants have been found guilty based on testimony from witnesses and victims who were sure that their recollections were true, but DNA evidence later would overturn the conviction because the memory was false. Okay, and that was based on people wanting to believe something or thinking they believe something. But imagine somebody deliberately planning False lies and false memories in your brain, in your soul. You know, Dr. Sumrall taught us that we're, you know, there's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one, okay? The Bible says there's three things that bear record on earth, the Spirit, the water, and the blood, and these three agree in one. And there's three things that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, or Jesus, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. Well, you're also a three-part being. You are spirit, soul, and body. Now, the body is the physical body that we see. It's the temple in which the Holy Ghost lives in. Our spirit is the life that we have. 
God-given life or the spirit of man. But the solical part of you is in the brain, in the consciousness, in the memory, in the total recall, in the mind. And Dr. Sumrall used to teach all the time that the battlefield of the soul is in the mind. Now, listen to this. Uh, the phenomenon of false memory has been well documented in many court cases, defendants have been found guilty based on testimony from witnesses and victims that were sure that their recollections, both but the DNA evidence, would later overturn the conviction. In a step toward understanding how these faulty memories arise, MIT neuroscientists have shown that they can plant false memories in the brains of mice, and it worked. They also found that many of the neo Neological traces of these memories are identical in nature to those of authentic memories. So whether it's false or genuine memory, the brain's neural mechanism underly underlying the recall of the memory is the same, says uh, some of the scientists there, professors of biology and neuroscientists and senior authors of uh, term papers describing the findings in the July 25th edition of Science. Now, the study also provides further evidence that memories are stored in networks of neurons that from memory traces from each experience we have, a phenomenon that has been discovered and demonstrated last year. Neuroscientists have long sought the location of these memory traces, also called engrams. In the pair of studies, uh, they have figured out where the engrams are or the, neural, um, the neurons are located in what portion of the brain that not only can recall memories, but can be computed with false memories. Now, how big is that? Oh, that's huge, folks. It's huge. I mean, listen to this. In the book of Revelation 14, verse 9, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man would worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, or let's just say it's a, or a new antenna-coated, tattooed microchip technology, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Now, and, who's, and the smoke of their torment will ascend up forever and ever, and they have no rest day and night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Now, turn with me, if you will, to the book of Thessalonians. Uh, let's begin reading here. I believe it is. Give me a moment. Help me, Lord. My uh, marker fell off its place. But it's okay. We'll find it. Um, yes, 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 yes. Here we go. Are you serious? Are you serious? The same chapter that talks about the Antichrist, or also known as the Son of Perdition, or the Wicked One. Talks about walking into the temple of God. This same chapter will also talk about the spirit of strong delusion that would deceive the minds of men. Listen to this. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, let's begin reading verse 3. Are you going to stay with me with this? Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. I got to have some coffee. Man, that's cold. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he, as God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. My dog is snoring behind me. What are you doing? Um... Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now you know what withholdeth that he might reveal in his time. 
for the mystery of iniquity. It's a mystery of iniquity. Doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall the wicked be revealed. Mm. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Power and signs and lying wonders. Technology! And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion, false memories, false dreams, that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. See, when I tell you to stay away from the spirit of darkness, when I tell you to stay away from these teachers of, 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 of deception, these atheistic, these occult leaders, these secular humanists, these fraudian frauds, these, uh, these philosophers and philosophical liars, and occultists, and Wiccans, and te technical geeks, spiritual wizard geeks. There's some kind of a wizardy geeks. I mean, they're op they're operating in the games you're playing. These Warcraft games you're playing. They're implanting false thoughts, false memories, lying spirits of delusion. Hollywood's doing it. It's being done in major levels of governments. It's all a Luciferian drive to destroy humanity. It's the work of the devil. Plain and simple. Using every tool he can get his hands on to destroy the souls of men. Now at the same time, every witty invention was come from God. For all good and perfect gifts come down from the Father of lights where there's no veritableness nor shadow of turning. It's in his power to give you witty inventions that you might prosper. So what we do with the technologies is up to us. We can use technology to pervert men's minds, or we can use technology to convince men of Christ. I choose to do the latter. I choose to use YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Google+, uh, whatever else I'm on. The web, the internet of any possible... I'm, I'm good... Radio, television, show, I don't care what it is. DVDs, CDs. It doesn't matter what it is. Use the technologies to enhance the gospel of Jesus Christ. But if I can do that to win souls to Christ, the devil can use that to damn souls for him. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're going to have a powerful show today. We're going to talk on the mark of the beast and the technology of the beast. And, that, you know, in my book, Mark of the Beast, RFID, that's why God told me. When I wrote this book last year, Mark of the Beast, RFID, because part of it was not just the corruption within the world governments and the spiritual delusion and the lying hypocrisy and the rise of radical Islam and the new world order, but also the technology that's being used by the devil himself to destroy the souls of men. I do not want you to die and go to hell. Please, repent of your sins. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. It's going to be a powerful... Stephen of Oklahoma, why did you have to get my blood boiling like this? Stephen, why did... We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.